A commitment to a safer, more secure tomorrow. That is the mission of the Mixed Oxide Fuel Fabrication Facility, or MOX facility, at the Savannah River site in Aiken, South Carolina. This facility will be instrumental in permanently removing excess weapons-grade plutonium from the United States nuclear stockpile. And, as an added benefit, this material will be converted into fuel elements to be used in commercial nuclear stations to power homes and businesses in the U.S. During the Cold War, the United States and the former Soviet Union produced plutonium for nuclear weapons. At the end of this era, tons of this material was declared excess by both countries. The National Academy of Sciences performed a study of the management and disposition options for these materials. The Academy recommended, among other actions, that both the United States and Russia pursue a long-term plutonium disposition program. The program's goal? To convert weapons-grade plutonium to a form roughly as difficult to use in weapons as the plutonium in commercial spent fuel. Plutonium in this form is not desirable or usable by an adversary and this recommendation became known as the spent fuel standard. In the year 2000, both countries agreed to dispose of 34 metric tons of surplus weapons-grade plutonium each. To implement this program in the United States, MOX technology was selected by the National Nuclear Security Administration, or NNSA, an agency of the Department of Energy. This proven technology has been in use in Europe for more than 20 years and in more than 30 reactors worldwide. The Savannah River site mocks facilities based on Rivas, Maylox, and La Hague facilities in France. The MOX facility design has been Americanized to meet U.S. code standards and regulatory requirements. To supply the MOX facility with plutonium oxide, the pit disassembly and conversion facility will take apart plutonium pits, which are a key component of nuclear weapons, and then convert the material into plutonium oxide. The Waste Solidification Building will process waste streams from both the PDCF and MOX facility for final disposition and disposal. In 1999, DOE signed a contract with a consortium, now called Shaw Arriva MOX Services, LLC, to design, build, operate, and deactivate the MOX facility at SRS. MOX Services is owned by the Shaw Group, one of the largest engineering and construction companies in the world, and Areva, a global leader in nuclear technology. Congress mandated that the facility would be licensed and regulated by the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The NRC has conducted intense reviews of the MOX design and in March 2005 issued their construction authorization the first such authorization issued by the NRC in over 20 years. A closer look at MOX facility operations will demonstrate the safe conversion of plutonium into MOX fuel assemblies. The MOX facility consists of two major sections, aqueous polishing, which is a seven-level chemical process, and fuel fabrication, which is a three-level mechanical assembly process. First, the plutonium powder is processed in aqueous polishing to remove impurities such as gallium, americium, and uranium. This process consists of dissolving the powder and separating impurities from the plutonium by using tall pulse columns and mixer settlers. This purified plutonium powder is then packaged in cans and stored until it is needed. MOX fuel is fabricated just like uranium fuel used in commercial reactors throughout the U.S. However, because of the plutonium content, MOX fuel fabrication occurs in glove boxes which allows access to the machinery, all while protecting the worker. Fuel fabrication requires very high precision and consists of apportioning, mixing, grinding, and homogenizing batches of uranium and plutonium powders. Plutonium oxide canisters previously prepared in the aqueous polishing portion of the facility are opened and automatically emptied to supply the fuel fabrication line. The equipment using the powders is arranged around a center material distribution artery. The tunnel enables the jars to go from the powder preparation stations to the pellet manufacturing stations. In the powder preparation stations, 20% plutonium oxide powder is mixed with 80% uranium oxide powder. An additional uranium oxide is added until the final percentage of plutonium oxide is about 5%. After the plutonium and uranium powders are mixed, it is pressed into a pellet about the size of a pencil eraser. These pellets are then sintered in a furnace which strengthen it and increase its density. 
The pellets are ground to within a few microns of their required diameter and sorted by means of a fully automatic system. Then samples of the pellets are checked to verify dimensions, density, markings, and color. Rods are manufactured by arranging the pellets in a long tray and inserting the pellets into a zirconium alloy tube. Each rod contains about 360 pellets. An end plug is then inserted into the open end and the rod is welded shut. The rods are assembled in a metallic structure to produce a fuel assembly. Completed MOX fuel assemblies look identical to uranium fuel used in commercial nuclear power reactors in the United States. Each fuel assembly will contain 264 fuel rods in a 17 by 17 array. Fuel assemblies are about 13 feet in length and weigh about 1,500 pounds. One MOX fuel assembly can provide enough energy to power approximately 4,600 homes for a three-year period. In 2005, four MOX fuel assemblies were made in France with U.S. weapons-grade plutonium and have operated for three years in a U.S. commercial nuclear reactor. The location for the MOX site at SRS was prepared for construction and on the morning of August 1, 2007, construction of the MOX facility was officially started. A year into construction, MOX Services has successfully placed over 30,000 cubic yards of reinforced concrete, 5,800 tons of reinforcing steel, and over 5,200 feet of piping. Construction activities will employ up to 2,000 employees, and when operational, the $4.8 billion MOX facility will employ between 800 to 1,000 employees, with operations expected to continue into the 2030s. The finished MOX facility will bear some impressive statistics. The approximately 500,000 square foot MOX facility will be equal to that of about 10 football fields. Additionally, the facility will boast 170,000 cubic yards of concrete with 35,000 tons of reinforcing steel and 100 miles of piping. As NNSA continues implementation of the Plutonium Disposition Program, the MOX facility will play a key role in safely and securely removing excess nuclear material from national inventories in accordance with the U.S. international agreements for the disposition of excess weapons-grade material. The beneficial reuse of these legacy materials in commercial nuclear reactors will mean less dependence on fossil and foreign sources of energy. Making this world safer for my children, and making my country less dependent on foreign sources. The mixed oxide fuel fabrication facility at the Savannah River site, the cornerstone of America's nuclear nonproliferation program.